I may be wondering, where have I heard that tune before? And if you're not wondering, then I'll tell you anyway. That's the tune of Yankee Doodle. Yankee Doodle is a stereotypical American patriotic song. What many do not know, though, especially Americans, is that the song actually mocks the American colonials when they try to act like the hip Englishmen. The famous so song lyrics, stuck a feather in my hat and called it macaroni, actually makes fun of how Americans try to imitate European macaroni fashion styles, but usually failing. It was originally written by a British doctor, and it was sung by British officers during the Seven Years' War. During the War of 1812, though, the song was sung by both sides of the war. As you know, I hope, War of 1812 was between the Americans and the British slash Canadians. The British slash Canadians in the war would play the song in battle because the lyrics made fun of the Americans. The Americans played the song because they liked it and didn't really understand that the lyrics made fun of them. The War of 1812 began when the United States of America declared war on Britain. At the time, Britain was already fighting Napoleon, who already owned over half of Europe. The United States declared war on Britain for four main reasons. The first is that Britain didn't like it. the United States trading with France. The Royal Navy would often force American ships to turn away when attempting to enter French ports. The second was impressment. The Royal Navy was, by far, the largest in the world. It contained over half the world's total warships, and manning a fleet of that size is beyond difficult, so Britain had to often impress British sailors into their crews. The British government did not recognize anyone else in their citizenship, so if an Irishman or an Englishman moved to America and worked as a sailor there, the British felt that they could lawfully capture a ship and remove the sailor by force. The fourth reason was that Britain was supporting Native Americans. At the time, Britain wanted a Native American state to be established to the west of the USA. However, the Americans didn't like that very much, and made a lot of moves to stop it. Britain would secretly support Native American groups to raid and resist the American army, and so effectively annoyed all the politicians in Washington. By modern standards, fighting during the War of 1812 seems kind of stupid. After all, soldiers stood in long lines right beside each other and fired together. No cover while wearing bright colored coats. Tips really stupid, stupid, wouldn't you think? Well, not really. Unlike today, guns of the period lack two important features, accuracy and rate of fire. A typical gun of the period, a musket, had an accurate range of about 50 yards, and could only fire one shot before having to be reloaded, which took anywhere from 20 seconds to half a minute. One musket fired by itself would usually result in a miss before having to be reloaded again. To make up for this, entire regiments fought in long lines and fired all together. Typically, they would be in two lines, and one side would fire while the other reloaded, and so on. This way, if you missed, the person beside you would probably hit. Because of how inaccurate muskets were, cover was irrelevant. Hiding behind cover wouldn't normally affect the outcome of the battle. If anything, it would make it difficult to shoot back and to reload. Camouflage was only really effective when you hid behind trees. Since you had to be very close to your target in order to shoot them, chances are they'd see you anyway. If they didn't see you, they would hear your muscle go off and see the smoke that spat out. And so while you were loaded, the entire regiment around the person you shot would know exactly where you were hiding. Colored coats were also used to tell friend from foe. When a general could not see a flag above a regiment, he would decide which units were his based upon the color of a war. The War of 1812 was like one big, humorless episode of Red vs. Blue. The British usually wore red, while the Americans wore blue. So, if anyone showed up to the battle wearing camouflage, no one would know who they belonged to. And both sides would probably shoot them. Everyone claimed they had won, except for the British. When the war ended, the British, who were preoccupied with Napoleon, considered the War of 1812 more of an annoyance than an actual victory. The Americans, however, felt like they had won because they had achieved so many of their war aims, such as stopping impressment, continuing to trade France, and other things. However, this wasn't the case. Britain stopped impressment because the War of Napoleon was over, not because of America. And, because the War of Napoleon was over, there's no reason for the British to keep 
America from trading with France. Also, the Americans never managed to take any Canadian soil. If I was to decide on any clear winner, it would have to be the Canadians. They, with the British's help, had not only repulsed an American invasion, but also captured other American territory, and would eventually rise to become their own sovereign country.